This short demonstration focuses on the advances in Solid Edge SP that help you streamline your design management and deliver your projects faster. The Relation Browser provides a visual approach to managing complex data. Additional checkout information is now easily available by clicking on a part icon. The used search on this bike frame assembly shows that it's referenced in a Solid Edge draft file. You can also use the Relation Browser to grab a shortcut link for this assembly and use it in an email, a task, or in this case, a calendar entry. Here we create a new calendar entry and paste in the link. The link can be used by anyone looking at the calendar entry to quickly navigate to the relevant design data. Now we switch to Solid Edge, where we have the task to add a new subassembly design to the database. You now have the capability to specify list of values type data. In this example, we specify that this part is available in two different colors, silver and black. We now access the Solid Edge SP search interface and show how we can search on list of values type attribute data. In this example, we search for all parts in the database that are available in both silver and black colors. We select one of these parts and display its preview properties card. This tool provides a quick preview of the selected part and its key properties. When we select a second part, the card switches to display this new selection. A new capability is the ability to pin a preview properties card. When this option is selected and a second card is requested, a new card is created to display the new data. Be used to compare different revisions of the same part or to display multiple parts to enable a correct selection to be made. Workflows for common tasks like engineering change and release to manufacturing are also enhanced in the ST7 release of Solid Edge SP. Here we select a motor assembly to be used in a released workflow. We add some information about the description of the workflow. We can see that there's a default list of approvers for this type of workflow. We modify this list by deleting some of the default approvers and adding a new approver. We assign a due date and start the workflow. We use the workflow site to select the cart for this workflow instance. The cart contains all the parts and assemblies that are referenced by this workflow, and you can see how clearly this information is presented in the Relation Browser. Also display the details of this workflow and can see that links to all the parts are available here. When the workflow is started, an email is automatically generated and sent to the relevant users to notify them that they need to take action. Again, links are included in this email so users have immediate access to the relevant data.